I would like to welcome you all uh, in my channel. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss the most important Viva question for the laboratory in IoT lab. So moving on to the discussion, I have already uh, done some basic tutorial on Arduino. So before uh, watching of this particular video, you can watch some tutorials on the Arduino, which is available in my playlist. Also, I request you to subscribe my channel if you are watching the first time. So we'll be getting a similar kind of uh, video in the forthcoming time. Moving on to the discussion. So first question in that particular lab, you can expect what is Internet of Things, IoT? Definition, you may expect the definition. You are supposed to explain what is the meaning of IoT. So it's a very simple question. So you might have known the concept of IoT. So the IoT, which refers the network of physical objects, devices, buildings, vehicles, and other items combined with sensors, actu actuators, software, connectivity, which enable them to collect and exchange the data over the internet. Suppose uh, we are using a house, we are uh, like, uh, we are staying in a house. Okay, so there are different appliances, bulb, light, fan, etc. Uh, then you are integrating those appliances with some other devices like uh, sensors, uh, then, uh, then uh, you are uh, Android devices. Okay, you are integrating those two devices and uh, you are monitoring. So such in the integration of uh, the physical devices with the uh, sensors or any other uh, computer ICT devices or computer connected devices, that system is generally known as IoT system. Hope you understood. You can explain by your own words. There is no uh, necessary that you need to explain by uh, like the bookish language. It's not mandatory. However, you are to explain. You are ready to. You are supposed to explain the concept. Yes. Let me discuss uh, the another question. So kindly uh, have a note of this. Can you explain the basic architecture of IoT system? So IoT system comprises of sensors and devices. There are connectivity. You can use like a Zigbee, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi module, etc. And we require a cloud server also. So where you can like uh, store the data, you can uh, communicate for we require a server or a cloud. So this is regarding uh, the basic uh, segments or basic segments of IoT system. So let me continue further. So we will discuss about the third question. Here, what are the some popular IoT development platforms? Uh, or framework. Well, so for your lab also, they may ask that what are the top uh, normal uh, IoT development platforms. So as we can use Arduino, I have already mentioned that I prepared so many tutorials on Arduino that you can watch. Then Raspberry Pi, ESP32, the Node, are anything speak, AWS IT Core, Google Cloud IoT Core, Microsoft Azure. So these are the various platforms which will be helpful for developing the IoT. Okay. IoT process and all you can do using this platform. In that way, the schools and all people mainly use Arduino because the because of basic level and a lot, lot of simplicity. What do you ensure? How do you ensure the security in IoT applications? Yes, we have the several uh, topology, several parameters that encrypt on. So encrypting the data transmitted between the devices and uh, server to prevent unauthorized access. Second one is called the authorization. Only information is available to the right person. Then access control. Okay, there's a limited access. There's a restriction for that. Everybody cannot access because there are restrictions. Firmware updations. Regularly updating the firmware to pass the security vulnerabilities and bugs. Okay, like the troubleshooting. Then firewalls and uh, instruction dictation system. Deploying the firewalls, mainly for the protection. Okay, uh, like security system. So these are the major uh, security which is uh, available in the IoT application. Please make a note of this. What are some real applications of IoT? Yes, of course, this is one of the probable question. Here, uh, as you can observe, the smart home. Okay, the smart home is one of the best application. Uh, then uh, in, uh, industrial internet of things, I, IoT. It is mainly used in management, every type of like uh, project management, like uh, uh, then uh, services management is management application then smart agricultural for uh, pre uh, like precision farming smart smart farming you can uh, efficient uh, pumping systems like a uh, water pumping system healthcare monitoring smart cities for traffic management waste management then energy conservation real time monitoring there are so many papers available on waste management then the traffic management system transportation system 
environmental monitoring and air quality prediction. These are the various applications of IoT. So still there are so many prototypes available. So okay, even uh, many of the institute, they are showcasing their uh, development of IoT system. Okay, so these are the basic level questions. Uh, in the for coming session, let me involve a little bit uh, technical based. So these are the general type of questions you can expect for Viva question. Let me know if you have any queries. We'll meet in the coming session. Stay tuned. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.